Hello guys, and in today's YouTube video, it has finally come the day, the day of reckoning for all of the Lord of Wolves Omni lovers has dawned upon us. Actually, it's going to be on the 23rd, but we're getting information about it now. So if you are a viewer of mine, you know that I do use Lord of Wolves Omni Oculus. Um, there's a lot of people that are of the mind that it is something that I enjoy, and it's something that I need to play well, which is just actually incorrect and not true so for me personally i am very very happy that these changes are happening and i think they're long overdue i'm glad that we are getting them at all and in this video we're going to kind of get into whether or not i think the changes are enough to kind of hamper lord of wolves down or if it needs more and kind of what i expect to happen in the future given what we are seeing uh nerfed on lord wolves and omni oculus so let's get right into it not waste any time here i'll start with some changes that i was expecting or i wanted i wanted them to remove damage resist entirely and i wanted them to make it so that you didn't get as much uh melee energy back on your smoke bomb like made it basic cut it in half mitigate the going invis constantly and then on top of that mitigate the damage resist and this is for omni in particular so we're going to get into what we actually got for omni which is pretty interesting and there's some things they don't touch on which i find pretty curious so in update 6.2.0.1 more on this uh in version update in the player support section we will be reducing the effectiveness of damage resistance used by omni oculus and whisper chains in pvp pve damage resistance is unchanged currently in pvp you have tier 1 is 10 tier 2 is 15 tier 3 is 20 tier 4 is 25 so i'm assuming what they mean by that is i mean i don't know how you have tier 2 or 3 invis i don't understand how that even works i'm very confused by that i'm not going to lie i don't know if they're just referring to how resistance works right now in the game so if you have like a tier 2 resistance that that's what it equaled or oh no i'm kind of confused by that personally it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because omni only gives you tier one like let's say you are a stompy hunter and your teammate that is using omni oculus makes you invis that would give you tier one resistance right now or display just resist if you were an omni oculus user and then your teammate also had omni and made you invis you would have tier five resist which would be i assume a little bit above 25 percent, or maybe it's just capped at 25 percent but I don't understand the tier 2 and tier 3. I've never experienced that in my time using Omni. It's either tier 1, tier 4, or tier 5. So I, I don't understand that. I'm kind of, although the damage resistance is very mitigated, like it's, if you're not using Omni, you know, and you do get invis by an Omni user, it's 2.5. So that's like very, very minimal. And then if you have tier 4, it's like, I'm not, it's a pretty significant nerf to the point where it's like, why even have the damage resistance? because like 2.5 is like not even not even going to be noticeable it's it's going to be such a minimal damage resist for a lot for people that aren't using omni and then the tier 4 as well is like 10 percent, which is like pretty minimal as well and i would have just preferred personally if they removed damage resist entirely that would have been my personal preference but for pvp at least because i don't really see a point uh, i want it to be nerfed into the ground quite frankly and I, I think them giving it any damage resist is kind of giving it an opportunity to rise up out of its pit and I, I don't really want that personally but uh I hope that this is enough in the regards to the Omni Oculus. I really, really hope it's enough. I'm thinking it will be enough as well because there's this stigma with people that play the game where like once something is nerfed, regardless of whether or not it's actually good, it doesn't really matter. People are going to kind of like cheaple it. Like they're just like, oh, it got nerfed, so it has to be bad. Instead of like actually giving it, you know, thought and like actually using it and seeing if it's still good. Um, So that will kind of be like for me personally, I plan to not use it at all even if i play other people using it um just to kind of get people away from using it now that it's finally been nerfed and i'm hoping that now it's finally been nerfed it's not as not as oppressive as it once was it will probably still be good i i think one thing that will be good is probably omni and a fusion rifle now over lord of wolves because when we look at the lord of wolves changes they kind of nerfed it pretty heavily um but at the same time i i kind of feel like the nerf to lord of wolves was also not enough we'll just have to see and i'm kind of hoping that just the stigma that it's been nerfed um and 
oftentimes many people in the community will think just because it's nerfed it, it must be bad now i'm hoping that that stigma kind of carries the nerf as well i know for i know for myself it's personally not something that i am going to be using after the fact so to try to assist in that um but yeah it's it's uh i'm glad it's finally getting nerfed that is awesome very very good so they say laurels has been a thorn in the side of pvp players especially when paired with certain exotic armor pieces we have changed the amount of ammo it starts with and reduce the damage dealt to players this is part one of a large rework aimed at making it a more viable pve exotic without increasing its pv uh or increasing its effectiveness in pv so that's interesting uh decreasing starting ammo in pvp from 15 to 10 pv unchanged reduce the burst size shots fired per trigger pull from 10 to 5 release the wolves reduce the burst delay the time between burst by 60 percent when release the wolves is active decreased lord of wolves base damage by 20 percent now deals 35 per shot to the body in pvp with 44 with release of wolves increased damage in pv by 20 percent to compensate okay so the one thing that i am kind of confused about is why are they nerfing release the wolves like no one used release the wolves i think or why are they buffing it rather this they're, they're kind of buffing it i feel like reduce the burst size so it's five and then reduce the time in between bursts um and they it looks uh, the damage is maintained with release the wolves so kind of the way that release the wolves works right now is you have to be like right on top of the person to kill them like literally right on top of them um and it doesn't really work anywhere outside of that range honestly and i still think that non-release the wolves is if you are using this weapon going to be the best way to use the weapon so i'm kind of disappointed with these changes i am happy with them de decreasing the damage the base damage that is a good change i like that a lot that's very good because one of the things about lord of wolves is it's just so like if you were within the effective range of lord of wolves it is crazy it will burn you alive so it's it's good they're dropping that damage i still think it's going to kind of achieve that goal of melting you but i think that you're if if the omni meta is something that is still Still going to be prevalent after the 23rd you're probably going to see people using fusion rifles or something over uh lord of wolves if that is still a thing so but this hopefully this meta and this playstyle is hopefully on the horizon. I know a lot of us are hoping for that. For me, that's all I've wanted. I'm very, very happy about this. It's gonna relieve a lot of mental stress and pressure that I have playing this game every day, not having to deal with that and dealing with like the goofy stuff in the meta, restoration, stuff like that. So hopefully, um, I don't know if they say it here, I didn't see anything about it, but hopefully they as well are nerfing healing grenades and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't read that I need to read. So, but I just kind of want to focus on this for the video. And with that, we will make at the video i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know if you did in the comments let me know if you agree with the changes let me know if you think they're going to be enough let me know if you're happy i'm assuming everyone's happy if there's not anyone that's happy i don't understand what's wrong with you uh, if you like this i am very confused um if you enjoyed the content please make sure to go check me out on twitch at defizzle for more content i stream every day and if you want to keep up to date with what's happening with me and the youtube channel please make sure to go follow me on twitter we just hit 10k i'm also going to be doing a couple of emblem giveaways i'm going to start one right after this video i'm going to make sure i have the codes because i bought or bungee day emblems and i'm going to you know put them on the notepad write a giveaway get a little tweet ready and start the giveaway over there so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one peace out